Hi, Stephanie with Fine Skills. I'm going to show Outlook users who access their Outlook emails through office.com instead of the desktop application, how to save uh, your emails into a FileVine project along with the attachments um, using the FileVine add-in for Outlook. Um, so there is a separate training for desktop application users because it does look quite a bit different. The first thing I'm going to do is select the email I want to save um, in my inbox and I'm going to access the add-in um, over here. Um, it's the three dots, more actions uh, next to the forward button in your email. You'll see the additional actions obviously available, um, the Outlook act, um, actions and then you'll see your file line add-in here. Now. Um, if you want, you can choose to pin it open so that you don't have to locate it like that every time you're saving an email. I'm going to select the project that the email is related to, mini mouse here, and um, I'm going to draw your attention uh, to this box here. These are all of the files that are being saved into the project. Okay, um, I have uh, two different medical reports and a hospital visit here, and then this is your email file. Um, when you save this email file into FileVine uh, using the add-in, it'll be available um, to open again, uh, reopen, to forward or to reply. Um, so what I want to do though is rename that email because right now it's named Minnie Mouse, which does not tell um, a project uh, member anything about what the contents of the email um, are. So I'm going to click the arrow to the right there. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to um, rename this email and I'm just going to give it a name, um, common sense about you know kind of the contents of the email so that any user can come in here and go through the list of emails and um, just have a basic idea of what this is about so they don't have to open say 10 emails to get to the one they're looking for. Um, I'm also going to drop this email into the email folder. Um, if you are actively using the folder structure in your documents section to help organize documents, um, it's a really exciting feature that you can just drop it into the right folder using the add-in so that you don't have to go back into the project, back into the document section, and then drag it to the appropriate folder. Um, now I need to move my medical records to their appropriate folder as well. Um, obviously these uh, records are named with great specificity. I do not need to rename them. Um, but I do want to make sure that they end up in the medical records folder rather than um, uh, just the general document section. So I'm going to, uh, for each of those, select the arrow pointing to the right and drop them quickly into the medical records folder. Oops. Um, and then before I attach to the project, um, the other exciting thing about the add-in for, uh, the FileVine add-in for Outlook is that you can use this section here to task a user. Um, or mention something to a user, a collaborator, in the same way that you would do that in the activity section for a project. Um, again, a huge time saver so that you don't have to save the email and then go into the project and separately task your paralegal to follow up on whatever's missing or to take the next steps. So I'm going to task the paralegal here um, and I'm going to mention um, the discovery clerk who isn't a follower on all of my files, um, just a collaborator. Um, but I do want that discovery, discovery clerk to see that these records have come in so they don't need to follow up on them any further. So I'm going to start by tasking uh, by using the at symbol and locating um, the appropriate user from um, the options that appear. And I'm going to let my paralegal know that um, we are missing. Um, please get. Um, and I'm going to mention my uh, discovery clerk so that they're aware of what um, records have come in so far and I'm going to attach with a comment. Now say for example um, you wanted to use the uh, function that you use in the activities section to give it a deadline. Um, today's Friday, 
um, I want to make sure this is done by Tuesday. Um, you can do that here too. I would just go back to please get and I would put add by and then star and then Tuesday. Okay, now my files are saved um, into FileVine. Before we hop into FileVine and see what it looks like from there, I want to show you what it looks like um, from within the add-in. So you can see that there was a task that was assigned to Jen, and it's set for next Tuesday. Um, now I'm going to pop into the file. Uh, you can go, you know, jump to FileVine, um, or you can go directly to the project by clicking uh, the name of the project there. So let's start in the activity section. You can see that my uh, email has been saved into FileVine uh, with the attachments as named. And then the last attachment here is the email uh, file that we renamed. Obviously, this makes a lot more sense than just Minnie Mouse. And then you can see it's also a task uh, assigned to Jen for next Tuesday. Uh, so let's pop over to the documents section real quick. My face is in the way. And remember, I saved the email into the email section and I saved the records into the medical records section. So let's just check that here. Here's my email. And here are my records.